not on the site. They, they haven't really broken past the barrier. Now they're going to go, and oh my gosh, it's a bloodbath. Exit, get four as soon as they enter onto the site. Face is just left for Baby Bay, the lurker, who is trying to blow something up on the back end. He's left alone. And that's a quick, you know, response to the, the frenzy nerf coming in. This is the patch with the nerf frenzy. These guys still just, you know, tally up four frenzy frags. Baby Bay in an almost unwinnable one on five. Only 27, you know, points of health left. Doing a lot of economic damage, which is good for the later rounds. Right. But it's likely going to result in a you know round win for Exet, and I think that's actually quite big. Last time these two teams met on Haven, Phase went up eight one on defense, and they lost the game 13-10. Eight yeah. to one. They believe they should have won that game. So, Baby May makes it hurt, right? Who was playing matches a week ago? They have tons of footage to work with, and you can see they're pouncing all over the map. They're moving around they really wire. well so far as a team. They found my wire. They are. It looks like they're going to check out where Flypo is too. They can smell that somebody was making sure the Lurk wasn't going to be a problem. Rockus gets the best of them. That's going to give FaZe a bit more room to work with. Pure or Bean, the tip of the spear, he spots one, lines him up, knocks him down, but the aggression will continue from FaZe. Indeed. And this is just FaZe, you know, Trying to trap the XF players in the site. I don't think they actually believe they're going to win this round, but well, again, this is tons of remaining. economic damage they're doing. Oh, Baby Bay once again left alone. He's got the Bladestorm and his Spectres. This, uh, I was going to say, could be something, but not going to be the case. Baby Bay even dies. Yeah, I think they're going to approach you know, every round like this. Oh. Baby Bay already good for two. He's going to get traded out by Aaron. As they get onto the site, Faye's going to be looking for a retake here. They have numbers, and remember, folks, they have guns as well. This round should go in their favor. Corey with another one, but there's a Bulldog from BCJ. I believe he was the only one with that much firepower coming into this round. X set down in numbers. BCJ looking to get the spike down as Weedin goes in aggressive. He tries to buy him space, buys him time. The spike goes down. BCJ is left alone. Faye's cleaned it up. They're on the board. Massive stabilization right there by Faye's to retake the C site. That, that frag on we did, you know, Zachary baiting him. Look at the Omen and the Jet, they're going up very fast. Oh, baby Bay's there, Bladestorm good for one, he's gonna dash away to safety. As he plays Ring Around the Rose, oh! gets the second one, looking for the third, no. BCJ's gonna take him down as Aaron tries to buy more time. He tries to get them more room, he gets the second one, Zachary's still playing back. Good for one, good for the second as well, and the spike, spike goes down, down. Wifo's See. left alone. Woo! Baby Bay! Get the A lobby control yet again. Man. They are getting this A lobby every single round. But this round, XS gonna fight for it. They're gonna push through the dark cover. Nice, good one traded out as we did. Gets one on with the sheriff. They're gonna pick up the rifle that Marv dropped and they're gonna continue to mosey their way over onto A. You see the smokes coming out from we did. Pure looking to do some damage of his own with his blades from Rockish drops. Corey with two big kills as he tries to continue to clear out the site, make that three. As XX just down to one. Pure good for Pure gets oh, the second oh. one. Holy Toledo, baby. That's a Red Bull clutch for you. And backs up XX just on the other side. Baby Bay oh, already lining up too. The spike's down as well. FaZe can anchor this down. BCJ trades it out. But there's a Hunter Fury that's going to be coming out from BCJ. Trying to clear out the back corner of the site. Tagged up one. Gets the kill on to Zachary. Hear the showstopper from Aaron being used as well, as they have to respect it, right? That gives Exit so much room to work with as it can get onto the site, get the spike down. They cannot challenge that ult right now. I know exactly where you are. Such a good zoning ult right there out of Aaron. Gets the C site with it. And now we're in a post plant three on three. The next frag is so important. Oh, Corey using his own showstopper. He's got one blast pack, swings out, gets a kill. Wifo at the same time gets the trade as Corey with the judge going in aggressively. Rock is good for two, exit, fall apart. Phase tie us up at three apiece. Yeah, getting that showstopper frag was so important. It made the exit players feel an immense amount of pressure that was coming from Garage. They both these angles. Excellent counter flash from Marv. Rockus. Rockus one. Two, oh, baby, line them up and knock them down. Rock is already good for two, looking for the third. He gets it, but we did trades him out. Drops things down to the 2v2. Baby Bay going hunting. He's got one. Left alone. Doesn't have any ultimates, but what he does have is a Vandal, and he's already able to take things down to a 1v1. See Baby Bay tapped. Starting to slowly work his way forward. 
It's gonna push Pure back even more. He taps it yet again, forcing him, forcing him to come out, and Baby Bay comes up huge for FaZe. Ooh, what a play by Baby Bay. I think he actually spammed that. Marv gets this info so early though. Yeah, he's gonna drop the smoke. Five members of XS on the other side. You see members of FaZe start to rotate over. There's the Hunter Spear coming out from Rockets, trying to tag out the members as they try to get onto A. The From the Shadows has been used from We Did. He's going to get canceled out, but he got some info of what's safe and what's not. There's the plant from Pure. The Rolling Thunder is going to come out. He's going to have to dash away. The spike does go down, except for now, has control of the site. Zachary, good for one as he takes care of Pure. Exit back up. Face trying to get onto the site, trying to create some space as things are equal for now. Spike continuing to tick away. For X said they're just able to play this so patiently. They're just able to sit back and force FaZe into an uncomfortable situation. And there it is. We did. Gets to give him the three, baby. X Watch out for Baby Bay. Watch out for Baby Bay. He's on the flank. There he is. He takes your BCJ. The Hunter's Fury is going to be used. The spike does not drop as FaZe are picking X set apart. But we did able to equalize things at least a bit with the kill of his own face. So with numbers advantage, the spike has not made its way onto A. Fortunately for X set. It's still in the hands of Pure. And things slow down again in one of these three-on-three -three scenarios. This match is just chock full of these scenarios. These three-on-threes where things slow down. Baby Bay rotating off the site. You can see that's what Xset's doing right now. They're allowing the players to rotate off the site. They know if they just yeah. wait, someone has to leave. Right. And here's the second player getting picked off, off the site. Zachary now has to watch the flank because B is open. So as they wait, more and more possibilities open up in the face player's heads, and you can see it's occupying Zachary now. Very well played right now by Exit. They've cut noise, and now really the map is their oyster, in a sense. Let's see if Rockets gets the best of air in here early on. Yes, Zachary does as well, as, as good as that looked. Have the showstopper, and as you mentioned, they have the blade storm. But FaZe have a couple of ultimates of their own. But it looks like for Exit, they're... I mean, if they can stay alive long enough to flip the map, that doesn't seem to be the case at all, as they've been pinched in. And BCJ's left alone with no health to work with. A 3k for Baby Bay. FaZe take the lead again. Here. Oh my goodness, Doug. We just witnessed a very large oh, omen dish. No. I know exactly where you are. <laughs> the Marv alt into spawn, but look at that, the neural diff comes in, they know! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Mark weasels away, he's now C. They have no idea. Alright, it's a showstopper, it's gonna connect. This Dwyfo's left alone in a 1v4. Things went from real pretty for Exit early on to absolutely starting to scramble to try to get back onto the site to control it. Baby Bay goes in aggressive. There's the frenzy. Takes care of BCJ from the top rope. But Exit seemed to be holding it off just fine. As FaZe are left down to two, it's going to equalize as Exit drops down to Twyfo. Baby Bay with three. The frenzy continues to pop off. Twyfo swings a 4k for Baby Bay. When I watch FaZe, they just took the seaside. By the by, fear of Baby Bay. Gone. He's just he just had a blade storm. That's it. And they just got C because people are scared of him. Exit on the other hand had to deal with Baby Bay at the Did end of C. Fight? Like three people in the site. The differences amongst these teams right now is crazy because of Baby Bay. They've gotten the spike down. They've retreated back towards C long. And if you're Exit, really the only solve here is you have to go at Faze. You have to go at their post plants have to make your way down there and it do, it goes completely sideways right exit don't even get a yeah. i mean again baby Bay just trots into the site you know just plants the spike gets out and this is such a difficult there. situation here for exit because phase have gotten onto the site to get the spike down and then they can Ooh, just retreat right like they can play from window and essentially stop any sniff at a defuse we did's already dropped phase continue to hold these positions that are so effective but thwifo with the bucky Pure gets one as well. Corey Rock is equalizing He's sticking it. He's sticking it. is left alone. He's going to get to the fuse. He takes him. They show it again, but they're going to work their way over on A. Wifo has to go huge here. But XS members have already started to rotate. They've arrived at the scene. And here we go. There's a showstopper for Corey. Aaron drops Wifo. I called on him having to go big. 
Good for one already. BCJ does it as well. Swifo continues to try to find the members of Faze. Zachary trades it out. BCJ with the Hunter's Fury in the one oh. one And Rockus wins the... Man, what a dominant performance so far from Faze in this series. This is very impressive. Just on the other side. Just around the corner. As, I mean, Xset have taken some of that space away, but much like we saw a couple of rounds ago, Xset takes one option away, FaZe just happily takes the other. Oh, no. I think, I think this is it, Doug. Yeah, that's oh! it. There are just no options. Baby Bay pulls out the blades, takes care of another one. Waifo's left alone in a 1v4. Blade Storm on one side, Rolling Thunder on the other as well. There's just not a whole lot there. There's that Rolling Thunder that we mentioned. Baby Bay, I presume, well, I, I, you know, honestly, given what we know about him, I figured he was just going to dash and do something crazy, waits for the flash, and there's the difference, right? Like, that was... Long B from Baby Bay. It's forced them to just rush A. They're scaling quick on Raucous. Raucous trying to stay alive in the smoke, and he's not going to be around for long. BCJ through the dark cover, gets one with the ghost. Exit should be able to get the spike down. Mark needs to go big there. He gets one. Aaron trades it out. As the spike goes down, you keep a close eye on the minimap, folks. Faze has two members rotating through, presumably going to send one shower. Okay, they're both going to go showers as Exit hunkers down around U-Haul. Oh, such a difficult retake right now coming in from Faze. The two players completely separated right now from Zach. He's going to have to come up big with a flash or two, maybe at the maybe at the truck when they swing. Well, and the, like the one benefit they have of them is that they can push from different sides, and that's when you see some of that play out. Attention is drawn oh. one way, the sucker punch comes in from the other side. Baby Bay with the frenzy oh. gets two as Exit falls apart. BCK is alone. He's certainly worse for wear. FaZe get the defuse. A beautiful retake. Pure goes in. near sight. Yeah, the paranoia is there. Marved wins the 1v1 as he continues to push through. They have full U-Haul control, and they're going to have to deal with it, or else Marv is going to continue to run around unchecked. Thwaifo gets the best of him. Rock is waiting for the flank, and there he is. Warm, welcoming open arms as BCJ drops Xset down to one. Member left as it's Thwaifo. He's going to get all sorts of messed up. With that utility, phase take the second as well. Should be able to get the spike down, and Sean, this one's going to be a bloodbath. Everyone's still up, no ultimates on the board, but Marv, understanding there's somebody in showers, he takes care of Aaron, but he trades out. Zachary going in aggressive, trying to trade control of U-Haul. Wipo with the peak. Zachary getting pushed back in a 1v2 here, as he has to back up. He's going to wait for that fault line to recharge. The second it does, I think he's going to fault line and just run in there. There he goes, baby, leading the charge. With the Bucky, baby! Oh. Zachary gets one! Perfect. BCJ, though, BCJ can go big here. He he's already gotten one, you're right. He has that Hunter's Fury. I don't know that he's going to want to use it this early on. No, a beautiful setup. Baby Bay's the one with the off. The Hunter's Fury out of BCJ. You imagine that might be bait. Yep, it's absolutely. pulling the rotate, Doug. Yep, Zachary drops. You see members. Look, Take a look at Baby Bay. Forced to go back that way, but Corey, wise to use this as a showstopper. Oh. He gets on to We Did. Brock is trying to keep... Other members oh. back as he does just that. Here we're trying to equalize things, but no, it continues to go sideways for Xed. Phase up 5 Oh, here Exit. Look, right? We talked about how they don't fight for showers control. Now they do. As they try to get on A, Baby Bay getting one with the op. Zachary continuing to hold things down as well. Showers not really an option. Is look at how aggressively Phase can play this. Mark goes at them. Rockus is on the other side as well. They're sandwiched. Once again, Exit get picked apart. Yeah. Right down that lane. They absolutely bait him. Aaron with the showstopper. Good for one. They've got some room to breathe here on the site. Rock is, however, with the Hunter Fury. Trying to keep some of it back. Exit. At least they... Oh my gosh. They get onto the site. But FaZe just snatch it right back. I know exactly where you are. That's a big frag from we did. It's now three on two in Exit's favor. The Neural Theft comes in. Baby Bay's daggers and that drone makes me... So scared for these guys inside you all. Kind of right click so strong from this distance. Yeah, really know where to go, but of course if the right click misses, Ooh. it doesn't hurt at all. We did somehow getting away by the skin of his teeth. Stays alive, gets the kill. Rock is left alone. As he tried to play for exits, but finally exit get on the board. Huge round from as they spent dancing around B. They don't really have an option to go elsewhere. They kind of have to go this way. Corey's going to blast pack his way to safety. 
Oh my god, look how quick Zach is left. on that. Okay. Nice shot from DCJ. Paranoia goes just a bit wide. Rockus is there to anchor things. He gets one, he gets two, looking for the third. He gets it, but we did drops him. As things drop oh. down, we did left alone. He's gonna get the spike down, doesn't have much for utility. Now he's gonna have that smoke up, but it's just dancing for his life. Nice shots onto Baby Bay. The snap was there, but Marv extinguishes the threat. Face taken on the round away from Xset. It's just, it's just the little things. You know, you're starting to see why people were so high on FaZe walking into this tournament, right? Like, how they were so impressive in their performance in the third close qualifier, and we're seeing some of that carry on here. Baby Bay waiting until the very last second there, and he lands a shot onto BCJ. FaZe just seemed to not be able to do any wrong here, right? As the blast pack is there, Baby Bay with the miss. Switches out to the Phantom. 51 health and five bullets to work with. The thing is, Aaron has even less. The wall bang was there. Aaron was a dead man walking. So now Baby Bay has shower control and popping short A. Oh my, it's so free. Oh, it's so oh free. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. There's no way he hit that shot. The thing is, it's just weeded. Yeah, it's just weeded. So they're going to swing out. They think there's going to be a feast on the other side, but it's just one. Now, if you're exit. You know you fully lost control of the hookah area of the map. You flip it. No, they don't. BCJ tries to fight through a couple of very nice sheriff shots from BCJ and Pure right to drop a couple of members from FaZe and give Xset the, the numbers advantage. I think we've been able to say that, what, once? Yeah, once. And I, I think this is the overconfident phase that I was literally giving them credit <laughs> for not being at the start of the round. They're, they're literally just doing this to spite me at this point. We'll see if Xset can get something out of this. They do have they do have the showstopper. They do have the hunter series. Look where he is. How does he miss this shot? It, there's just no way based on his form right now. <laughs> there's just no way, Doug. There's no way. It's free. Three on three. He okay, smokes the dart. Ooh. Oh. Oh, starting to rotate. Pure winning that duel. But the cavalry has arrived. The members of Fa other members of Faze have arrived. BCJ, beautiful setup Whoa. here with he's has to pull back. Look where he's droning from. He's in octagon. <laughs> what? Baby Bay. All right. There. Seeing some of that aggression punished. As Aaron gets one, but the thing is, you you've got to fight for this elbow control here. Oh! And Faze oh! steps up to the plate again. Zachary gets two. Exit down to that same amount as they fight to win this pistol. Corey's in a great spot here. They're really, I, I mean, Xset, they're sitting ducks, right? They're, they're left alone here. They have so many angles that they can control. Things look real bad for ECJ should have gotten some info. You see members of Xset start to rotate over. Corey with the superior guns there, just, you know, able to very easily win that duel. Flyfo with the Bucky, see if he can make some magic happen of his own. Gonna get smoked off. Xset down to three. I think we need a moment of silence right now for, for Xset because this is this is hard to watch. This is no longer rated PG, folks. If you have young eyes watching it, horror look doesn't look great. Finances don't look great either. Xset, if if there was a world where they pull off some shenanigans, it's got to start here. As you mentioned, they're just fully sending, and they've taken U-Haul control. Great oh pipes God. control as well. Marv is up there. They're just like running it down their throats. Sean. Oh <laughs> the frags. This we'll sneak. Like 1,000%. 1,000%. 1, unadulterated full sneak. Exit here. Backs against the backs against the ropes. Not a ton of options to work with here. His face looks to put the finishing touches on a Picasso moment. Got so much info. Spike Marv just saw. Yes, yeah. Pike. They're trolling. Oh no! They're gonna do a fake through the TP this round. Unfortunately for them, Marv gets caught all by himself. Short A. Where he has his all. Oh boy. He's gonna zone it out. They have to respect it. Oh. Okay. He did drops. Pure. Stand strong. But Zachary shows that he can do some of his own. BCJ trades it out. A one v one is all that remains, and who else but Baby Bay on the side of FaZe as BCJ looks to keep 
the series alive, the map alive for Xset. He's down to 71 health. He doesn't have a ton of armor. Here's the chance, and Baby Bay answers the call yet again. And 